Hello the beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rose Shuever. I'm a Namibian YouTuber currently studying in China. So today we are talking about the struggles that foreigners go through in China. Why do foreigners struggle so much? Guys, one of the things that we struggle so much in China is because of the language. Yes, the language is the bottom line of why we struggle so much because there are so many things that we are not aware of until we experience those things. For example, if you want to change a course, a major, like you are studying a specific major and you want to change it, if you go in your university, sometimes they can say that, no, it's not possible for you to change your major because of A, B, C. So there are so many regulations that we will not be aware of until we experience them in China because of the language barrier. And the further, and the further you go and the more you explore in China, the more you realize that the system cuts you halfway because not all services are provisional for foreigners. And so just like I've given an example of changing courses in your university, it's just so hard. For you to change that because it has to go through so many offices and maybe your university does not even know how to change the course because they've never done it for foreigners that's one struggle so the bottom line is the language of course and another thing i feel like we foreigners struggle in china is the system itself it's not so welcoming so to say for example, let's say you have lived in China for a long time. Are you, can you get the opportunity of living here forever? That's really, really hard for a foreigner to get through the system, to get a visa like Chinese visa or even getting becoming a citizen in China because there are just not those opportunities. So the system is not just so favorable and does not really accommodate everyone. It's more about a temporary place where you can stay but if it's to like to live there forever I think China is really really hard place to live forever because there are just so many things that will come on the way so many surprises for example let's say you want to get married in China there are so many obstacles that you could go through and they do not even make like help foreigners to get married here it's, it's it's even very difficult for you to get married in China because like the system does not even allow you to get that opportunity. It's either you get married in your own country and do all those type of things. So the system is just not accommodating. So those are the struggles. And other things is like the struggles that we as foreigners feel experience here. It's like the whole system is just so limiting guys. For example, buying properties. Yes. If you want to buy property in China, you have to be very, 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 very rich. Yes, that's possible. But even even though I've not explored that area, if you have to explore that area, as you go and go further, you still have some obstacles. A lot of things can come up. Maybe policy will change. Maybe today you have bought a property in this area and the next day the policy changes that, oh no, now in this area there cannot be foreigners are not allowed to own any property here. Do you get what I'm saying? And things are so, like things in China can just fluctuate overnight. You could just be told that everyone pack up and go to your home country because that's just how China is. The system is just not accommodating. It's just not welcoming. I feel in the long run, you will feel exhausted because each and every day you have to explain yourself and that's a struggle on your own. For example, like over and over, you have to explain to children, like the young ones, why you're black. Imagine you're in China for like eight years and you have to always explain that, why are you black? Why is your hair kinky? Why is your hair curly? Like every single day it's like you have to explain yourself, do you know? So those are just some struggles that we face as foreigners in China and we do not know if things would ever get better because sometimes it's just so difficult guys, sometimes it's just so difficult. And other struggles are like, for example, if you use the hospital, yeah, like the, your body as a foreigner as an African, as a black person, might be different from as um, a Chinese 
local person so the doctor might not be really confident to operate on you even though they are really they are really really good they are very very helpful but we still have that struggle you have to go with a person who knows how to speak Chinese that's still a struggle on your own so it's just struggles upon struggles like guys so I could say that China is very very suitable for a short term but if it's a long term living if you're considering to live and stay in China for a while it's it's difficult it's going to be a challenge because every single day it's like you are learning new things you are exploring and it's a struggle on its own you know everyone wants to be in a place where they feel most uh, comfortable most accessible most efficient but I feel for a foreigner in China it can be really really limiting and just like there are so many shortcomings for you as a foreigner yeah so struggles are there and even for people who are very picky very like they they want things to be a certain ways china might not be really for you because guys the struggle can be real when it comes to eating you have to cook your own food most of the time because maybe you don't really prefer eating anything you know and also other struggles are if you are religious like practicing your religion is not so it's not there you yeah we have those people like groups that are religious they are practicing christianity muslims and all the other things but we don't really have the opportunity to express and be the, the religious the way we want to be you know what i mean and you cannot even just talk about your religious anyhow and you cannot even just discuss politics anyhow because that's just what it's like living in china so those are some of the struggles let me know in the comment section what struggle have i forgotten if you are living or residing currently in china so until my next video do give this video a thumbs up do like and also let me know in the comment section share this video with your friends and guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and if you do like this type of content want me to talk more about china let me know and i will do that i will do that so yep until my next video stay positive stay humble and work hard towards your goals and goodbye goodbye